everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about my Zion National Park food chain. Okay, to start off, here's my art project which shows the bobcat eating the chipmunk and the chipmunk that eats the um the lily, seagull lily. This is my Zion food chain. Bye. Hi, my name is Rolowski, and today I'll be showing you my Yellowstone food chain art. So right here, I have my art that I did. So let me explain what I did. So right here is a plant. The cute little squirrel eats the plant. After that, the black-tailed uh, the black-tailed jackrabbit eats the squirrel. After that. The cute little bobcat eats the black-tailed jackrabbit. This is my food chain in Melissa National Park. I hope you liked it. Bye! This is my food chain. In my food chain, I have the alligator, the snake, and the mouse. The alligator eats the snake, and the snake eats the mouse. So this is my food chain art over here, and the animals I have in my food chain art are a wolf, a, a raccoon, a lizard, and some grass. So how the food chain art works is, so what I did is, so basically the wolf eats the raccoon, and the raccoon eats the lizard, and the lizard eats the grass. Thank you, and bye. These are all of my subjects in this food chain. First, we have grass, then we have the bighorn chief, and then we have the bear. These animals are all in, and plants are all in Grand Teton National Park. The first thing that is eaten is the grass, and the grass is eaten by the bighorn chief. And the bighorn chief is then eaten by the bear. And then that is the end of the food chain. Like oh, and so you. this is my food chain. This is a bobcat. This bobcat eats the coyote. The coyote eats the snake. The beast is quite awful. We like my art. And then so the the orange thing that he did the the thing is the, the fox eating the weasel and then the weasel eats the squirrel and then the squirrel eats the nuts. So that's basically my art. Bye. Hi, my name is Chase Karthik and I'm gonna tell you my food chain art right in here. So it's basically an Arches National Park. And that plant right over there. It's called the barrel cactus. And what eats the barrel cactus is right here, the antelope squirrel. And what eats the antelope squirrel? The fox. And so that is my food chain art for Arches National Park. Thank you. Hi, my name is Reggie. Today I'm going to explain to you the sky ecosystem in Crater Lake. This over here is my food chain art for the sky ecosystem in Crater Lake. First, the acorn gets eaten by the blue jay. Then, the blue jay gets eaten by the hawk. Then, the hawk gets eaten by the eagle. This is the sky ecosystem in Crater Lake National Park. Bye! This is my free trainer. The grass is eaten by the bunny, and the bunny is eaten by the bobcat. This food chain is located located in Yosemite National Park. This is my food chain art. First, the acorn gets eaten by the squirrel. Then, the squirrel gets eaten by the fox. This food chain art is located in Yosemite. This is a food chain from Bright Canyon. So over here, that is a food chain of the thing I made at school. So first, the grass over here, the prairie dog eats, and the mountain lion eats the prairie dog, and that's just a small food chain. So if 
What if it goes if, like, let's say another animal eats all the grass, then that will affect the prairie dog when we'll have no more food and de- possibly all die out, and which means the mountain lion has less food. Of course, it has more food to eat on, but yep, that is just a small food chain. Bye. Today I will be doing the food chain for um, Bryce Canyon. I picked three animals. I picked the acorn, the mule deer, and the mountain lion. Right here is my food chain art that I did in class. The food chain first starts off with the acorn, which is right here, gets eaten by the mule deer, and the mule deer gets eaten by the mountain lion. The mountain lion is the apex predator. This means that is this this means that it is at the top of the food chain and nobody eats it. Thank you. This is my ecosystem. This ecosystem includes mountain lion, moose deer, and plants. The plant is being eaten by the moose deer. The moose deer is eaten by the mountain lion. These are all animals from Yellowstone. So this is my food chain over here. And then the bunny which is eating the grass, and the gray wolf, which is over here, is eating the bunny. And so that is my food chain, and that is all happening in Yosemite National Park. So that is my food chain, bye. Hi, my name is Nevedata, and I'm gonna show you my food chain. So this is my food chain art, and at the bottom of my food chain, I have the paintbrush flower, and then I have the deer mouse, and then I have the gray fox. This is how the food chain works. First of all, the paintbrush flower gets eaten by the deer mouse. After that, the deer mouse just scurries through a grassy yard in Zion, and then, dun dun dun, the gray fox eats it. It devours its prey. And this all happens in Zion. They're very common animals. Thanks for listening, bye. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna show you what my thing to eat and, and it so this is my project right here. This is what it looks like and everything. This is my this is my bear. He eats the worm and then the worm eats the roots as you can see right here and as I point the line like that. And this is Caden. Bye. Hi, this is my food chain art. Right there. Food chain art. I've started with marine algae, which is right there on the very far left. Marine algae is eaten by the marine worm, who is eaten by fighting clover. Right next to the weasel up in the center. I think clover is eaten by the weasel. And the weasel is eaten by the bobcat, who is the second largest on my food chain art. Bobcat doesn't have many predators, except for the mountain lion, who is the largest in my, in my food chain art. And then they and over there is my food chain art. As you can see, it's very um, poorly made. And then there's this apple. There's this apple right here. And it's eaten by this here. And it's eaten by this here deer. You can see it by that nut one. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. So that is how my food chain of Devil's Tower works. So, goodbye. This is my food chain. So technically what happens in the food chain is the porcupine eats the grass and the coyote eats the porcupine. This is my food chain. Hi, my name is Grant and this is my food chain art. And this bear is the top of my food chain, which eats the bighorn sheep and eats 
the grass, which is my food chain in Grand Tetons National Park. This is my food chain art. I have three things in my food chain art. One, the apex predator is the green basin rattlesnake. The green basin rattlesnake is a Utah chipmunk, which eats an apex. This uh, food chain happens in Bryce Canyon National Park. Hi, I'm Echo, and I'm going to show you my food chain of the video game. So here's my art. It's very cool and interesting, and a little bit funny. So I will show you how the food chain goes. So that is a cooking table. It is this way. And this is a weasel. He eats and that is a very cute box. It is the weasel. This is my food chain of some beer dooms. I hope you enjoy. So this is my food chain. In the food chain, the alligator is eating the snake, and the snake is eating the mouse. Okay. My name is Emily, and this is my drawing. So. The mouse eats the leaf, and then the ringtail eats the mouse, and the coyote eats the ringtail. Hi guys, this is my food. My name is Aditya, and this is my food chain art. Here's Caden, right here, the kid. And anyways, I'm Caden. Thank you. Anyways, so here's my food chain of the Grand Canyon. First, a bunny eats berries. Then the bunny gets eaten by the coyote anyways the berries can also be any other plant as well the, 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 the cottontail rabbit eats a lot of different stuff but the coyote is loves cottontail rabbits and yeah that's my food chain uh, thank y'all for watching uh, yeah you're not making a video hi this is Nam. So, as you can see, my food chain art here. This food chain includes three animals. One of them is the alligator, another one is the snake, and another one is the mouse. So, the alligator eats the snake, and the snake eats the mouse. Okay, so this is my food chain art. This is my peregrine, this is the peregrine falcon, which eats the piping plover right here which eats the a marine worm or ocean particle. Okay, peeps, my name is Evan. This is my food chain. Um, My food chain, all of the animals are from, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, that's my food chain right there. Uh, that's, wait, that's my mountain lion. That's my grass, and that's my deer. So the mountain lion eats the deer, and then the deer eats the grass. And that's basically how it works. Hi, I'm Alice. Today I'm going to tell you about a food chain. All these animals in these food chains live in Crater Lake. Okay, uh, so over here there's a midge fly. The midge fly gets eaten by a newt. And then the newt gets eaten by a rainbow trout. Then the rainbow trout will be eaten by a raccoon. One, go. Okay, so this right here, this is the, this is the lion, and this is my food chain over here. This is the deer, and this is the berries. So, so the mountain, so I'm so, sorry, the deer eats the berries, and the mountain lion eats the deer. So it's like berries, berries, deer, mountain lion. Then that again is my food chain, food chain, food chain art. So yeah. Bye. I hope you enjoy this. Peace out. So this is my art. I did sagebrush that got eaten by a rabbit, that got eaten by a bobcat. So the sagebrush goes in Devil's Tower, then the cottontail rabbit will eat the sagebrush, then 
the cottontail rabbit will get eaten by this bobcat. So, and then this is my art. So that this is my project. Hello, my name is Shreya, the philosophical scientist. Now, I am about to share with you one of the greatest stories of life ever to be told on this galaxy by me. So, how does the story start, you ask? Well, here is a hint. Look at that image below. It represents this story in all of its glory. But, okay, so where does it start? It all starts with one peaceful flower sitting in the sun, enjoying its life. That flower is none other than the Western Wallflower, right over here. Now, this flower was basking in the sun, soaking up the sunshine, soaking up the nutrients and water from the ground. But little did that poor, poor flower know that its life was about to be over. And who could have done the scandalous crime, you ask? Well, it was none other than the terrible villain, the big horn sheep. That sheep looks horrifying, and it is horrifying. It gobbled up that flower in less than a millisecond. We must all mourn that wall flower, which is now sitting at the bottom of the horrible beast's belly. But, as all villains have, there is one rule. It is, if one kills, then one must be killed. So, this big horn sheep was happily grazing on friends of that one western wallflower when fate decided to take its turn. Out prowling behind the sheep in the bushes was a mountain lion. A large mountain lion, a scary mountain lion. It crept closer and closer, step by step, inch by inch, until finally it was only a few feet away from that big horn sheep. It crouched down and then pounced into the air, leaping over the grasses, over the flowers, and landed smack dab on top of that big horn sheep. That mountain lion was amazing at aiming. Now, the mountain lion feasted on its great meal. It enjoyed it very, very much. But, as you may have guessed, that mountain lion is very, very old. For example, it only crept feet foot by foot, inch by inch, while normally mountain lions would start at a running pace and leap on. This mountain lion was growing, was growing very old and very frail. It had taken most of its energy to leap onto that big horn and now it had none left. And so the forces of nature combined and the mountain lion passed away. But then the mountain lion isn't gone yet. Fungi and mold decompose that mountain lion into the soil where one specific plant uses it to grow. And what is that plant, you ask? Lightspur? Grass? Sawgrass? It is none of those, my friend. In fact, it is the Western Wallflower. And then, my friend, the cycle of life starts over. The Western Wallflower, the big horn sheep, the mountain lion revolve around each other, creating this beautiful image. And that is the way life works, my friend. It spins around on its own, without, no, without any help from anybody else. It spins like a bicycle wheel or a tire, or perhaps a spinning top. And that are some philosophical quotes from Shriya, the philosophical scientist. Explore the stars, explore the moon, and explore life on earth. <sighs>